Hi friends! Today for science, um, today's Friday, May 1st, we are doing our Unit 9 um, science review. Um, and it starts on page 365. 365. Okay. And we are going to go over 365, 366 and 367 okay the back page of this I already crossed mine out you can go ahead and cross that out we're not going to do the back side this time okay all right so starting on the front on page 365 it says use the terms in the box to complete the sentences well we have the word dissolve property and solid all right so number one one part of what something is like is a, would that be a dissolve, a property, or a solid? Well, one part of what something is like would be a property, like the color, or size, or shape. So on number one, we're going to write property. And then we can cross that one out. Property. Number two, mixing salt with water causes the salt to dissolve or solid. Well, when you mix salt with water, it causes the salt to dissolve, especially when the water is a little bit warmer. Dissolve. Number three says a kind of matter that keeps its shape is a, well, that would have to be the last one, which is a solid. Solids keep their shape. All right. I'll give you a chance to write those ones out. All right. Now we're going to move on to the bottom. And it says... Number four says, how is all matter the same? All matter is solid. All matter takes up space. Or all matter is made from natural materials. Well, we know not all matter is solid because we also have liquids and we have gases. And not all matter is made from natural materials. There are some things that are not made from natural materials that are still matter. So it has to be B. All matter takes up space. Number five, you put soft toys in one pile. You put hard toys in another pile. How did you sort? Did you sort them by color, by size, or by texture? Remember the words soft and hard. That's how something feels, so that would have to be C by texture. It didn't say anything about red or green or blue or big or small or it has to be texture. All right, let's go to number six in the back. Number six says, which cup has the hottest water? We actually didn't do this part in our book, we skipped it, but if you remember when we talked about um, temperature and using a thermometer and when the thermometer, this red part, which I remember it's called mercury, is the highest, then that means that the temperature of the water is hotter. So like for example, this one, the mercury is way down there. This one, it's way almost up to the very top and this one's just kind of right in the middle. So which of these would be the hottest cup of water? I would have to say number two, cup two, so B, because look how high that went. Number seven, which kind of matter fills all the space of its container? A, gas, B, liquid, C, solid. That would be A, a gas. Liquid fills um, the container and kind of matches what the container look like, looks like. So if you pour um, milk into a cup, it will take the shape of its container. 
solids, like if you put um, a spoon in a cup, the spoon would not expand and get bigger to fill up the cup. It just stays the same. It doesn't change shape. shape. So that would have to be a gas. Number eight, you see several objects at a party. Which object is a liquid? Is it A, the apple juice, B, a cake, or C, the air in a balloon? Well, that would be A, apple juice is a liquid. All right, we're going to move on to number nine. Which does sugar dissolve more easily in? Would sugar dissolve more easily in cold water, cool water, or warm water? That would be C, warm water. The warmer water or warmer liquids help make things dissolve easier. Number 10 says, how do you know that the material being poured is a liquid and not a solid? A, it has mass. B, it has its own shape, or C, it flows and takes the shape of the container. Well, that would be C. This liquid is flowing out and into this jar, into that container. So let's see. Number 11, how is the person changing the blanket? A, the person is melting the blanket. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. B, the person is folding the blanket. Or C, the person is cutting the blanket. Well, they are definitely folding it. They're not melting it or cutting it. Thank goodness. <laughs> Number 12, which is a mixture? Remember, a mixture is different things, um, like combined. Like um, a fruit salad. A, grapes. B, pencils. C, a salad. A salad is a mixture because it has lettuce and cucumbers and cheese and salad dressing. All right. That is the last question because remember, we're going to skip this back side. So we were are stopping right here at page 367. When you are done with your religion, I'm sorry, your science review, if you will take pictures of these three pages and submit them onto Class Dojo. Um, that way I can see how you guys did. All right. Thanks. Bye, guys.